cloud cover stays out over Lake Michigan thus far. Halftime, and the Bears lead the Bengals 10-3. Mike Anthony, let's take a look at the... Really did. A lot of pressure on Caleb. There's a sack there. And they did well against the run and the pass. Again, more pressure right there. Right here, you see Zach Carter comes up field and turns back on the screen. Makes a nice play. Great, great reaction time. Right here, you see the uh, author, too. Right here, you see a field goal try. Cairo. Um, they got pressure. They all but a couple of things rolls out of the pressure. Looking downfield and just says, okay, let's go. Scores a touchdown. And then, uh, you know, it, but man, you take those plays away. Pretty solid first half for the Bengals defense. No doubt, man. The Bengals scoring drive brought to you by Paramour. Money Let's Mac. take a look at the first half stats presented by Paramount Plus. And how about the Bengals outgaining the Bears? For Bears are only one of five in the first half with their first unit. Of course, we had the one turnover. Uh, penalties. Did too many penalties. We had to end the first downs for the Bengals offense. 43 of those penalty yards were on what's called a phantom defensive yeah. pass interference. I didn't see it. And Cole Burgess hit at the 23, and there's a flag down. They brought just a couple of days ago. It looks like it's holding up pretty well, for at least from up here. During the return, holding, return team. Michael Dow, defensive back. You know, they had a Metallica concert here. And see some of the seams. It, it takes time for the grass to settle in when they re -sod. It's also the home to the Chicago Fire and Emmett. So far, so good. And the lack of rain since we kicked off certainly helps as well. Woodside diving out the 16-yard line. I made the comment in the first half that the offense is playing a lot, and you go, they're probably playing the second. Glenn Gilliam, Ford, Trey Hill, Lee. We may get our first look at Rocky Lombardi as well, the undrafted quarterback out of Northern Illinois. Before it got too far out of hand, Austin Booker was totally unblocked. Well, another flag tried to just unload it and get rid of it, avoid a sack. Oh, interesting. And those were receiving that second down. Those penalties there, a couple of them been on Correct. screens. That's stuff you can, uh, you know, clean up. Just a matter of the screens. Now, all of a sudden, these guys start running them. Uh, that's not a big fix. I mean, those are things that can be corrected easily. Matty. Ravion Williams has been playing on third down throughout the game. Motion from Lassiter. And keep Woodside upright. Woodside is going to run across the 20. Jukes out to the 23. Has first down yardage. Out. That's first down yardage pending the penalty. Yeah, Dominic. Williams got a <laughs> necessary roughness. Defense number 93. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Byron Coward. Maryland for a year, fifth round pick in 2019 by the Pats. You heard additional stuff, so you've dug out from a, a hole inside your own 15. Now you've got a chance to make a real drive of this. I tried, they drove the ball in the side with a fresh set of downs that he had to earn the hard way. Going to Burgess. Burgess scampering out. Well, how about we go down to Marissa on the sideline? Thanks, Mike. Well, Vaughn, it's great having you back in Cincinnati. I know the fans have been fired up. I never take the moment for granted. Uh, it's surreal now. I've been back in the locker room with the guys, so I'm happy to be back. This is a blessing. Also reunited with so well. Uh, we just got open dialogue with each other, and uh, we kind of think alike. And, um, and he's been helping me grow in the game, uh, just picking his mind and how you see things. Up and, uh, it's on and off the field for sure, so I love him for sure. The team also brought in Geno Stone in the offseason to compliment you. They went along to the two of you. They've been well. Uh, very smart player. Uh, he, he, he's diving into the defense, and he we're on the same, like, it's like a same, like, I always hang out outside of football, too, so that's what makes the relationship more even more significant. So it's glad to be back there with him, and uh, I'm glad to go play there and, uh, and be in the league. And, Vaughn, after you re-signed with the team, I think I saw that hit again, you had against Pittsburgh. Ron Loop, it was on replay probably a million times. Just how did that game and moment kind of help set the tone for where this franchise wanted to get to? I think it did because, you know, it's always a robbery against them. in the AFC. You got to play your best ball then. So it just helped, like, I guess, put momentum into the team in the locker room. It united us, and it just jump-started us to the next year. So 
It was just one of those memories, those moments. Well, Vaughn, excited to see you back out there in stripes. Thanks for the time. Thank you. down the sideline. It was not good news. Yeah, Woodside would like to take that one back. You see, it gets... So, Smith, the fifth, fifth round ship, Fox 19. Over the Bengals. Change the quarterback. The first team offense goes the entirety of the first half as John Meta this homer. Tyson Bajan comes in at quarterback. Started four games last year. He's the first undrafted Division II quarterback. Came in with Justin Fields unavailable midseason last year. The Bears ended up in a decent position. 7 and 10. So trade with Carolina last year. Bajan throws on the middle. That's caught down to the 25-yard line. And that is Kyle for the Bears last year. Plenty of protection there for the Bears. Bajan throwing a nice ball there to Scott. Bajan was expected to be the third quarterback, Fields and Nathan Peterman last year, but you served Peterman. Webster busted out of bounds by Nate Brooks. And Brooks making the tackle. So a little bit of speed there. Brooks, all UFL for the Michigan Stallions. Major. Homer. He got bottled up. He was out of the NFL last year, played with Birmingham in the UFL. 12 games over three seasons in Pittsburgh for the 27 year old. Osai, Carter, Jenkins, and Murphy. Cedric Johnson still in there. You can see as a linebacker. Some guys have been playing quite a bit even for the first half and now also in the second half. Bay Bengals all trying to strip it. Wow. To eventually bring this lumbering tight end down at the five. It's down. A lot of white shirts trying to bring them down there. Carlson continuing to fight for extra yardage. An undrafted to the Browns in 2019. Spent three years there out of Princeton. Fajan. Hand on. Jordan Battle coming downhill. Involved in the contact for Cincinnati. Jordan Battle isn't shy away from hitting anybody. Staff from Caleb Williams. In the red zone for the second straight drive, the Bears. This off the intercept. Bajan. Hand off. Palmer. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. Kept his feet. And, and, and held up by. Stopped the ball a little bit. But the defensive lineman occupied the offensive lineman, giving Shaka Hayward a chance to get through. Right here, you see that? Just that slight open. Some speed and instinct there. Hayward competing. But man, he threw a, a Nolan Ryan fastball through his hands. And it's third down and goal. Ninth play of the drive for Chicago. Bajan on third down. Lobs back in the air. On third down and goal from the fourth. And Chicago's lead 16 to 3. You're right there when you said all by him lonesome right there. Newton trailed them. Josh Newton. Pettis doing a nice job. The ball was nicely thrown. And Pettis knows where the end line is. <laughs> High snap. You must have seen the, the National Football League logo. <laughs> figured that was still the end zone. Yeah, that's <laughs> of the NFC. Tom slash tickets to experience the jungle this season. We kick off the regulars on Thursday night. The Colts pay a visit. It's a, a tradition renewed of sorts. You get to see the Colts at the end of preseason again. No Curtis Painter, though. Painter. Santos. And this returned by Lassiter. Stutters at the 25. There is a <coughs> Feeling good? 
going to return. Holding. Return team. I'm a little nervous. Kane into the game at running back, and Cam Taylor Britt is with Marissa. Thanks, Mike. Well, Cam, at halftime, we gave you a ring later this season. But, Cam, a huge part of your story is your family. How instrumental have they been in helping you get to where you are today? Like, well, no, they, they were one big reason that I went back to school. Uh, even with the, my charity events that I do, they always there to help. Uh, uh, they, they're my everything, though, man. So, Cam, you're entering year three now with this team. What has been the biggest difference for you as you enter? Uh, it's jittery and, you know, thinking about a lot before the play. Um, you know, just seeing things a lot clearer on the, on the defensive side now. And, um, it almost seems like you're a veteran almost out there now with that group and are, have been so reliable for Lou Anarumo. But tell me, what is the mentality for you? And hey man, that's the only way we know. Uh, we got to take it back there, you know, how we how we play every day and uh, how we know we went to the AFC Championship and every day. And one of my favorite things that happens throughout the course of the year are the defensive sellies that, that break out at any given point. How early do you guys start working on that? Yeah, so we think of it, I think, on, on Friday. You know, before the Sunday's game, or just, but it has to be like two days. We got to practice for them. <laughs> so you haven't started any yet? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the time, Cam. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Not yet either. Woodside on third down and 10. He's in golf back at the two yard line. And the Bears defense comes up, gets to Woodside, and it's fourth down. They he mentioned they got to work with Sam and Trey. I think he'd have to work with you. <laughs> A little dancing with the stars up here. <laughs> well, star. Pettis is back to return, and he is in. Got it away, and launches across the 50. Pettis. That's something for Darren Simmons to smile about. That is impressive coverage. Led by Tampa Bay. 17-14 last week. And Tyson Bajent leads the Bears offense back onto the field. Three for four, 30 yards and a TD for Bajan. And Bayless Jones for Chicago. The wide receiver found some room to the outside, gets across midfield and into... Mike, it's great to have you as a Bengal. What has the adjustment been like for you to Cincinnati and into Zach Taylor's offense? Yeah, no, super happy to be here. Um, and uh, honestly, it's just been, uh, it's, been, it's really just been a smooth transition. Um, you know, like I said, all the guys have been great, and it's, uh, it's been pretty... Uh, to work with you, how do you feel like that rapport and chemistry is developing with the two of you? Yeah, no, Joe's, Joe's been awesome, uh, you know, on the field and off the field. I've, you know, proved to him, you know, that I'm dependable and reliable, and, uh, you know, I'm going to be in the right spots at the right time. And he was raving about having you in his room, that you really provide that veteran leadership and experience. How are you using your experience to kind of... Cool to, you know, have three, you know, rookie tight ends in the room. And, you know, I remember, you know, seven years ago, you know, that was me. So, uh, you know, any, you know, small tidbits or anything like today during a uh, preseason game or during practice or whatever, um, it's been cool. We got, you know, three really good rookies and it's been cool to work with them. And, Mike, I have to ask. Uh, no, unfortunately not. Uh, so I can promise that it's still going to be funny, uh, but it's not going to be better. Still looking forward to seeing yeah. it. Appreciate <clears throat> well, Michael try his best. Mike Kosicki, 28 years old, second-round pick back in 2018. Most of his crew stripes this year. Bajan. on the drive for Dante Pettis and the Bears up 23 to 3. Well, middle for a long game and right here lays it in nicely. Dante Pettis making a nice grab and the coverage was not terrible. And walked off as well. Yep, Lance Robinson was right there in the coverage of Pettis being able to make that catch because Bajan threw it nicely in there. Ooh, slicing, you got it. And since that final color you're wearing to the stadium. Amen. Santos sends it away. Cole Burgess will return from inside the five. And Burgess was able to scamper outside the 30. Ten yard penalty. First down. So it'll be a longer field for Rocky Lombardi. A couple of interceptions. One where he got hit from behind as he released the ball, one underthrown down the sideline, led to 10. Chicago went to Michigan State for three years, then Northern Illinois for three years, and here he is in the NFL, the Clive Iowa native. Name-wise, that 
That's moving up on my list. Rocky Lombardi. No relation, Lombardi. Oh, I thought you meant no relation to Rocky. Well, uh, to my <laughs> Yo, understanding, Rocky. not that either. <laughs> Offense, 12 foot. Cam Grandy runs back to the sideline. Bengals have one too many. Lombardi was a state runner-up at Michigan State. Actually debuted as an emergency punter for Michigan State in 2018. Got a substantive amount of play. Northern Illinois started 29 games there. Lombardi, handoff. Noah Kane. And we have number 74, Eric Miller at right guard. Good push by that offensive line, creating the hole. And Kane just pushed by that offensive line. LSU, three years at Penn State, and then the transfer for the last two. Grew up in Baton Rouge, moved to Texas following Hurricane Katrina. This effort, this is good for two. It's third down as the rain really starts to re-enter the fray here in Chicago. A little work on that running game with that rain coming down. To start to pound it, let the big guys up front... Uh, just come off the football. The playbook specifically for Lombardi said this guy could run over some linebackers. Count me in on that. 38 2 is a okay. Lombardi completes Lassiter. First down. Oh, exactly what he needed. A pickup of three. It was ready. Stewart. There is Kwame Lassiter. I'll tell you what, he continues to impress. But uh, yeah, it, uh, it's tough to break that group. Jamar Chase was in town here in Chicago, made the trip. T. Higgins, Charlie Jones, Lombardi on the run. Takes the pitch, he'll slide. Not quite ready to. He's got the slide down, that's for sure. <clears throat> Had the defense getting, guessing here, am I going to throw it? Am I going to run it? No, I'm going to run it. Just take a little. They did really want to get him into the game against Tampa Bay. Opportunity didn't show itself, but with only two quarterbacks today, along for the ride. Marty under center, sends Burgess, Marty handoff, and we could take this into the fourth quarter, that's a first down. Tell you what, Noah Kane's running hard, he's hitting the hole and he hits it for positive yardage. With Chris Evans going down, your practice squad running back could be Collins or Kane now, yep. and we are headed to the fourth quarter in Chicago. The Bears with a 24-3 lead. The rain is pouring 